So a few weeks ago, uh, I went to Taco Bell for lunch, um, and I was standing in line, and I remember praying and saying, God, you know, is there anybody here you want to reach out to? Um, and, you know, it was a guy that was in front of me, a couple people in front of me, and uh, something that got impressed in my heart was need. And I'm, I'm thinking like, okay, God, is you know, is that just me imagining? Is that, um, you know, or is that really you? So, you know, the guy gets his food and he goes and sits down over in the booth and he's there with his two little sons. And I was supposed to get my order to go and just head back to work. Um, but I said, well, you know what, let me sit down. Um, <laughs> so I, I go ahead and get my food and, and I sit down kind of like across from him. And so, you know, I'm there eating my, my food and, and kind of looking at him at the same time, and, you know, trying not to look too much like a stalker. And um, at the same time, I'm kind of wrestling in my head of whether or not this is something God is leading in or if it's just something I'm trying to make up or, um, and, and so anyways, I end up, you know, finishing my food and I look at him and what he's eating and he's almost done. He has like another taco left or something. And so, um. I, I go ahead and throw out my food and I, and I just go for it. I just walk over to where he's at. Um, he's sitting there in the booth, a little like booth thing that they have there. And um, his sons are on the other side. And I, and I just kind of lean over, lean in to him. And I, and I say, um, hey, by, by any chance, do you have anything going, in, going on with your knee? Um, and he goes, my knee? And I, and I say, yeah. He goes, yeah, actually, yeah, man, my, my right knee. Um, and I said, really, what, what's wrong with it? And he said, um, yeah, I'm supposed to be getting a, a knee replacement because it's so bad and it just really hurts and stuff. And, um, you know, when I walk on it and I said, oh, man, I said, well, listen, I, I know this may sound a little weird, but is it all right if I say a prayer for you for, for that knee? And he says, uh, yeah, no, please, man. Thank you. So, you know, he bowed his head and I bowed mine and we started praying. And as I was praying, one of the things that I got impressed with to pray for was that as he walks to his car, that he'll just have just just completely be healed from his knee and and uh and it's strange because normally I, you know i would just pray for it to be gone right then and there but i got impressed to pray for that specifically and so we finished praying and he was you know had tears in his eyes and and he just just thanked me and said oh you know thank you so much and and i said all right man god bless you you know i i believe you're going to see the the results of that and uh, and then i walked away so as I'm walking back to work, um, you know, I, I remember just getting to the back door there and then kind of turning back around. And I was like, man, you know what? I, I really like I just want to see it, you know, like I, I know what I pray for. And I know I felt impressed to pray that when he walks to his car. But, you know, I didn't get a chance to see that because he wasn't done eating yet there with his kids. So I said, man, God, I, you know, I kind of want to go back and, and just, you know, see it. And it'll just be 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 you know just so neat um but at the same time you know i said well maybe i can just even exchange numbers or something um just to follow up and and one of the things god god spoke to me about in my heart at that moment was well blessed are are, are those who don't need to see to believe and i was like man you know that that's so true I mean, I, I mean, it's so cool when, when we get to see the effects right away or, you know, the person's like, man, there's no more pain or, oh, man, yeah, it's completely healed or, you know, um, and, and it's been cool to see that. But for this particular case, it, it, it's like God purposely didn't, um, I don't know, just just didn't want to do it that way. And, um, you know, and one of the things that came to me, too, was why would God give me a word of knowledge for him about his knee and pray for it and everything if God had no intentions of actually healing him from it. And as incredible as that may sound for a knee replacement to be healed, um, at the same time, when we think of what's a, an incredible miracle versus a not so incredible, you know, to us and our the way we think, it's like, oh, okay, well, the common cold would be a, you know, okay, I could see that happening today, but oh, a knee replacement or oh, a fractured back or oh, something else, you know, that that's a little higher up on the scale. But in reality, and when we're seeing it from God's eyes and God's point of view, it's it's nothing at all. I mean, they're all just equal in the sense of it's all minor 
compared to the kind of power that the gospel can do to bring that healing or even if it's creating tissue or, or muscle or um, bone or you know whatever the case is I mean the gospel is not limited to these human uh, boundaries that we put on it sometimes or these different levels of like oh well the common cold's here and and AIDS is up here and you know it, it's it's all fair game it's all fair game because because the gospel has redeemed us from all of it so I'm really just praying to like walk from that to believe that and walk from it and it's been pretty neat seeing God come through